Finally, since the Winter Olympics were launched in 1924, they have been held in the United States four times. And did you know, in the early days of the Winter Games, the games nearly came to Yosemite. Here's Andrew Martin with more. Yosemite National Park is many things. Majestic, serene, full of wonder and splendor. People from all over the world visit Yosemite. Back when the park first became a national park in 1890, most people who visited did so in the summer. In 1928, a man named Donald Tresseter had a unique idea. He went to Switzerland, to St. Moritz of the Olympics. He saw the Olympics and he thought back to Yosemite and he said, you know what? I'm going to develop winter sports here in Yosemite. And he wanted to, Yosemite to be the Switzerland of the West is what he called it. Donald Tresseter was the president of the Yosemite Park and Curry Company. He would later become the president of Stanford University. He was known as both an entrepreneur and a visionary and the person who put in the official bid for Yosemite National Park to host the 1932 Winter Olympics. It was Yosemite Valley is what the official bid said, Yosemite Valley, California. Nothing in any of the archives that talk about a reaction, whether people thought it was wonderful or people thought it was horrible. Either way, they knew hosting an Olympics was a real possibility. Where I'm standing now and up here at Curry Village was a toboggan run. It was known as Ashcan Alley, where people would toboggan down 800 feet. There was an ice skating rink that's no longer here that was built and that was really a regulation skating rink. That rink hosted the Olympic trials for speed skating leading up to the 1932 games. However, Lake Placid won the bid to host that year's Winter Olympics, beating out both Yosemite and Lake Tahoe. It was the first Winter Olympics held in the United States. I don't think we lost out because of the scenery or the location. It had to do with hotel rooms and the games and infrastructure. Had Yosemite gotten the Olympics, I think there might have been more development, but overall, I, I don't think it would have changed much. I'm Andrew Martin for Sports Central. And we have an Olympic dream story coming your way Wednesday night in sports at 11 as Andrew catches up with Central Valley snowboard Olympian Andy Finch. That's going to do it for sports. KC24 News continues after this.